So welcome everybody uh, to Free Healing Meditation Mondays. I'm Nathan Writing with Rising Heart, Grounded Mind. And I'm really honored to have you here. And for those of you uh, that join me each week um, for this meditation space, I hope it can be a place of healing, grounding, centering, and a place where you can find um, community and some type of refuge from the many challenging things that are we're all experiencing in the world and even ourselves. So um, I want to uh, go ahead and just get going and into what I will hope be a good meditation today. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about some of the, you know, things that are going on in the world and how we're all feeling that pressure. Um, I, I think every generation, every um, time in the world has been fraught with challenges. If you turn on the TV or you look around, there's a lot going on. I've talked about that often, but it does create a lot of anxiety and a lot of uncertainty in all of us. And um, you may be feeling a little discomfort. I know I feel discomfort at times. I know some of you I work with outside of this space feel discomfort and are being challenged on lots of levels. This isn't new, but I wanna talk about this in a different little angle today. The world is being pushed and so we're being pushed, being pushed to change. And um, when we feel that change, that discomfort, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to make an adjustment. What's gonna happen? Um, we tend to like really rely on our third chakra, which is, again, like I've said in many, uh, many times, this is sort of our, um, our power kind of chakra, the one that um, really gives us the energy and the will to create our lives and be in the world. It's also where we try to control our, our reality, our environment, and sometimes other people when we get just, when we have, you know, intense emotions like fear or anxiety or other things. So this is a chakra that I've been talking about and that is really active right now, if you might have noticed. Um, if you're having trouble sleeping or you're having other issues, it's due to the third chakra and that level of pressure that you're feeling. Um, but the world, as we're being asked to change, is asking us to be on our growing edge, asking us to get to the ledge of the unknown. And that's where a lot of this discomfort's coming because the world's being pushed to its growing edge, being challenged, say, you can't, world, you have to change how you're being because it's not working. And as the world is being challenged, so are we. We don't get a, we don't get a break. And so, you know, you might find yourself looking over the horizon going, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's out there, but we're at this edge, many of us together, but in your own way. So we have to learn to kind of let go of some of those things that we're trying to control, um, lean into the trust of ourselves. Um, and we really need to begin to let go of those things that keep us from trusting ourselves so we can take that right action and um, be able to take those leaps and lean into that edge. And that cannot, that's sometimes that's difficult because we've had challenges in our past. So. Um, but as we do that, we're able to explore and go deeper into our purpose, and um, which is where we really want to be, which is what we came here to do. And so even amidst all that discomfort, there is value and there's some good that can come of it, but we just have to move through where we are to where we want to go. And sometimes that's not easy. So... You know, we're all moving to that fourth chakra. The whole world is, and you are, trying to embody our purpose and to be more of who we are. So I want to explore that a little bit more tonight or this afternoon or morning, wherever you might be, if you're listening to this online or wherever. Just um, know that this, in the discomfort, there is an opportunity. So if you want to, you can go ahead and... Just go ahead and just find your space, 
and take a deep breath. Just breathe in and breathe out all the heavy energy. Just take another deep breath, breathe in, breathe out, and tune into the energy of the universe, the rhythm and the movement. And then take a third deep breath, breathe in, breathe out. Just tune into the energy of today, whatever day it is for you, wherever you are. Just allow yourself to be aware of your body. Just slow down. Just give yourself this moment. And just allow yourself to just be still for a minute. There's nowhere you have to go. There's nothing you have to do. You just get to be right now. And go ahead and really allow yourself to be aware of your sacral floor, your sit bones, how you're connecting to your chair. And then from that lower part of your body, bring your awareness up to your head. Just kind of scan your head, be aware of your head, your eyes. On that space two inches behind your eyes, this area inside your head. Just breathe. Just allow yourself to imagine there in this place right behind your eyes, in this place in your head, there's a chair for you to sit in or blanket on a grassy lawn. Or you can sit up against a tree in the forest, but whatever feels good to you that you're imagining being seated, that your focus and attention is becoming more and more here in this place in the center of your head. Just breathe and allow yourself to sink into that. And from this place in the center of your head, I invite you to be aware of the tip of your spine, your sacral floor, the first chakra, I invite you to create a connection between you and the center of the planet. And it can be made of anything that you like, anything that feels good to you, that you like to imagine. It can be a beam of light, an anchor and chain. It can be a tree trunk with the branches on the tree and the roots going into the center of the planet. Whatever works for you, whatever you want, could be fine, beam of light. Just really create that in your mind. Allow yourself to really feel that connection and just begin to see that connection be as wide as your hips and maintaining that width all the way to the center of the planet and that the area around you, two to three feet all around you, is also connecting into this connection to the earth. And as you really create it, you really feel it, the gravity of the earth begins to overtake that connection and it begins to pull on your body and the space around your body. And it starts to take away all of the limitations and the pressures that are on your body right now. So I just invite you to release those pressures and limitations that are on you. 
whether they be from work or family or just the pressure in the world, whatever it might be, just allow that to start to come out of you and just notice where it's coming off of you. Maybe it's these burdens and responsibilities that you're carrying. Just invite you to release them off your shoulders, out of your nervous system, the pressure, that compression that comes into you and your body. Just release. The earth is doing all the work. Just breathe. Breathing signals you to release even more. As you do that, just give yourself permission just by putting your attention or your thoughts to all of the anxiety and the fear that you're absorbing from other people in the environment. Wherever you go, whomever you talk to, whatever you're consuming in terms of the media, just begin to really release that, let that come out of you. It's not you, it's not yours. And the earth is just pulling on it and taking it out of you. All the pressure that you may be feeling in your body in the front of you, the pressure of the unknown, We sometimes need to, as humans, we need, feel like we need to know so much. Because we have to live our lives, create a living, care for others. People rely on us. We matter more than we think. And so just allow yourself, give yourself the permission and allow the earth to come in and to sweep away all of the pressure in front of you, on the path in front of you. And all the pressure from everyone around you that is anchoring into your feet, which is your path, which allows you to walk in your purpose and create your future. And any of the energy between you and the earth and your purpose and your path that's in your feet, just allow that to come out. Just really release, breathe in, breathe out, release and let go. Let go of that energy, that limitation. Breathe. And then any energy, any pressure on your forehead or on your crown, the pressure to know things and the pressure to be able to see ahead Just allow that to start to come out of you. Your earth is doing all the work and pulling that away from you and your body. Just let that come out wherever it's coming from. Whether that's an external energy or pressure or it's an old energy or pressure that you inherited from your family, your parents, your lineage. Just really begin to let that come out of you.
I invite you to get out of effort. And anywhere you're trying to control the external environment, other people, and anything that's driving that need to control, conscious or unconscious, known or unknown, all the effort and control, just begin to let that go. You can't control the future from your third chakra. It doesn't work that way. But you can create your future from your fourth chakra. Controlling from the third chakra will create difficulty and creating from the fourth chakra will create ease. So just allow yourself, give yourself permission to really release out of that stomach Any grief coming out of you, just let that come out. Anywhere there's pressure, it says if you don't do, 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 do your to-do list, perform in a certain way, show up in certain ways for all these people based on society's expectations, then there's some problem and you're not valid as a being. So just invite you to really release all of that. It's just not true. Even though it feels like it may be true. Just really, really release and let go of that. You don't have to hold on to any of that. Just breathe. Just allow yourself to become more present with yourself. More and more and more. I just invite you to now ask your body and your spirit to just bring forward that edge, that unknown, that space between your heart and your will the 3D world, the physical manifest world and your purpose. Because you need your body to fulfill your purpose, to live your lives and to create your experience. But you need to do it from your heart. You need to do it from that unknown place that you created, opportunity you created for being in this body and this life that's unique to you. And so that space between your heart and your third chakra that uncomfortable zone, that place where you have to take a step, even when you don't see the step, where the discomfort, where your edge is, where you can see a horizon, but you don't necessarily always see the path to that horizon. Just invite you to ask the earth just to begin to help take the edge off of the edge of your growing edge. Whatever is in the way of you taking the step that you know you need to take, that you want to take, the step that would make you happy, the step that would make you free, the step that would help you create your purpose, just invite you to just sit here for a minute and just allow that just to start to dump away from you, come out of you. Really allow you to... release any fear or anxiety around the steps that only you know you need to take. Steps that if you really listen to yourself and you're deep unconscious, the voice is telling you what to do and how to take those steps. It may be your biggest fear that's keeping you from that. So I invite you to release whatever that can Whatever you can from there, just let that come out. This may go way back, way back from your childhood and even before if you believe in past lives from other past lives where you had a challenge, where you got stuck, there was a tragedy or pain. So just ask the earth, 
and ask the universe to help you, support you as you begin to release whatever you can right now in this moment, whatever is appropriate and available for you to just release. Just let go more and more and more. Any judgments you have coming out of your throat about this or about your life. Any anger you have towards higher power, wherever you may feel trapped or stuck, or even the energy of feeling unfair about life. This life is unfair. So all real experiences, valid emotions, just ask the earth to really take all of that away. Just really release, let go. And as you do that, just ask that your stomach, the power plant, the energy of your body, creating the electricity through the food that you eat, the air that you breathe, Everything that you're taking in to you is creating the energy or by force in concert with your consciousness. Just ask that that will become aligned with your heart more and more and more until you see this bridge of light between your third chakra and your fourth chakra. In that fear and anxiety, that bridge of light being generated by the power and the right will of the body in relationship with your spirit, with your consciousness, whatever you want to call it, is connecting those two together. And as that energy begins to flow from the third chakra to the fourth chakra, it's to build into the heart. And there begins to be a flow of communication back and forth. And as you establish that communication, you begin to bring into balance the needs of the body with the needs of the spirit, the needs of that greater conscious part of you, with the needs of the physical part of you. And you begin to reattach, reclaim, and redeem these two parts of you so that you can really begin to take your physical body more and more and more into your purpose. As you're negotiating and navigating the edge, the learning growing edge of your life, of your path. I just invite you to let more and more of that energy from the third chakra to flow up into the fourth chakra, begin to move like a beam of light into your body, into your arms, into your lungs, into your throat and head, into that room in the center of your head and your crown. Begin to permeate the third chakra down to your second chakra and first chakra and filling up your legs, down to your feet, out your hands, cascading out into your whole body, this light. With the heart and the will working in unison, bringing the will and the light of the body, and the light of the spirit together to bring a light to the world, the unique light that only you can bring to the world. as you entertain the edge, the growing edge of your life. Because when you're on the edge and you embrace the edge, you amplify and create greater light. So from that place in the center of your head, just be aware of this light. And I invite you to look up and see a point of light above your crown, which is your energy that you've left in other places. And I just invite you to begin to call that back to you. It's a point of light above your crown. It's just like this earth connection. It's filled with gravity, pulling back 
all of your energy, your light, your energy, your consciousness, your intelligence, the power. It's getting bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter above your crown. It's getting so big and so bright as you're calling the energy back from the past, maybe from past lives, from your childhood, maybe just from last week. But it's getting bigger and brighter. And as that light gets so bright, that energy is so bright. It's right above your crown. Right above your crown is your eighth chakra, your higher self. Part of you that is the greatest knowing of all the things that you planned for your life. And as it's gotten so big up there, some of the information about the plan for your life and purpose is in there. And it's merging with the energy that you're calling back to yourself and you're just bringing, that you begin to bring that light into you, bring into your crown, in your eyes and your ears, your nose, your mouth, down into your throat filling up your whole body. As it does so, it begins to fill the cells with a greater awareness of your purpose. And as it merges with the light that you're already there, it even amplifies the light, gives it more energy, and it brings your, more pur your purpose into greater conscious awareness. And it helps you to feel that in your body as it goes down your heart, your lungs, your upper shoulders, down to your elbows, down to your digestive tract, all the way down to the sacral floor, all the way down to the legs, down to the knees, all the way down the arms and hand, out the hands, down to the knees and down to the ankles and out the feet, filling you up all around you, the left and right of you, the front and back of you, above and below you. really filling you up. Every cell of your body is becoming enlivened and is remembering more of what you came here to do and is ready to help support you as you sit on your edge and you get prepared to make the changes and pivots that will bring you more into even greater light and greater awareness and greater purpose. And when you feel filled up and fully complete, you can open up your eyes and you can begin to stretch. You can come on out of trance. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we're all being invited to be on our edge and to face that edge and work through the discomfort so we can really bring our purpose forward into the world. So in an embodied way. So I just, with all earnestness and, and um, real um, awe, just, just by being here, you're doing such a great thing. Just know you're being supported and helped and that light is there for you. I just want to make a, an announcement. I'm going to be offering a new free offering on June 22nd. On Wednesday, I'm going to start a free virtual healing clinic. Um, so this is a space and a place where you can just come on and I will be asking people what maybe issues they may be having and inviting a person to share potentially a little bit about what they're experiencing and then I'll transmit healing to that person and to everyone. So it's a place in a space where a little different than the meditation space, but it's a space and place where you can um, get a healing and, and have an experience with uh, transmission of healing energy. So I'll be sending more information out about that, but I wanted to give folks on this call a little preview I'm looking forward to doing this, holding this twice a month on the second and fourth Wednesdays of every month. And um, so I'll be sending more information out about that soon. Um, I'll be teaching the beginning clairvoyant tools class in July. So if you or anyone you know is interested in that, let me know. I have decided to push back 
the year-long clairvoyant healing program to October 8th. So we'll give people more time to have their summer and their fall and get settled. But I still have every intention on starting that then. If you have questions about that, please let me know. And of course, you can always find these meditations on YouTube. So just really appreciate your all, you all and hope that you have a really great week. Thank you, Nathan. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Thanks, Nathan.